What's up guys, KFAR back again once again, and you can blame this video entirely on Fraud or Troll. I was watching his video from, I believe, earlier today. The guy started yelling, and then he brought up how he was like Juan Demise, and I thought, whatever happened to that meth gremlin Juan Demise? So, I went digging, found this video. It's got a little bit of age on it, but it's still great because he's looking at a bunch of paperwork like it's a picture book, and then he gets arrested. Good times for him, good times for me. Enjoy the video. I'm going to prosecute your office. How you doing? Do you have a public record request form? <coughs> For public records? Just write it out on a blank piece of paper. So, if you call Wanda Mize's real name is Robert Mills Jr., he has an extensive criminal history, and more or less, he's only there to annoy the prosecutor's office. He's currently refusing to take responsibility for a traffic stop. That kind of went sideways on him when he started running his mouth reckless about nonsense he didn't understand. That's what he's here for. He's just here to bother them so he can avoid taking responsibility for that. Yeah. <clears throat> can I get a stamped copy of these? A stamped copy? Yeah. Or if you could just initial it and make a copy and hand it back to me. Um, yeah, I want to wait for my brother. I don't have any idea as far as what I can do, what I can't do. Um, she'll be back in seven minutes. All right, yeah, I'm just trying to get some background information on uh, everybody involved in my court cases. Okay. And uh, some background on some prosecutors and some prior... All right, uh, I'll be right back. So if you're at home thinking our meth gremlin main character is trying to just file these FOIA requests as a way to intimidate the prosecutor, saying, hey, I'm going to keep looking into you, I'm going to keep harassing you until you let me break the law, yeah, that's what he's trying to do. A public record request. It's a little sloppy. But you don't have to do. All right, guys and gals, buckle up. This is going to be a long clip because I'm going to read for you what he wrote down in Chicken Scratch on this blank piece of paper. Okay. He wants a public records request. This is for Brady material and background of all of those involved in my unlawful arrest. Full stop. They should crumple it up and throw it right back at him. There was no unlawful arrest. So how would they have records for something that didn't happen? Crazy. And then he gives the case numbers. I want the names of all court staff, court clerks, witnesses, law enforcement officers, complete name, nationalities, prior arrests, court violations, complaints, disciplinary actions, oaths of office, employee conduct manuals, bar cards, who appointed them and when, bond info and what the bonds were processed by, any arrests, tickets, ordinance violations. And we continue. Let me go a little further here. If you haven't caught on already, Wanda Mize is a sovereign citizen. That's what he kind of pulled at his traffic stop. All right. And the arrest tickets, ordinance violations, employee conduct manual, state police conduct manual, uh, ways and means conduct manual, all discovery in regards to both cases listed above, any and all audio, video, notes, electronic documentation, interview statements, all the prosecutors involved who appeared in both cases. Oh, i got to skip down a little bit more. 
because he's just fucking chicken scratch. Info I'm requesting includes the prosecutors involved in the cases listed above. I want to know if they're... Here comes a super soft sit part. He wants to know if there's an unspoken contract between the court and the people of Indiana being used to force jurisdiction or authority over people going to court. The fuck? All... I can't even attempt to read that info. The court's jurisdiction for cases listed above. The officers permitted to, if the officers are permitted to lie and falsely uh, in falsely sworn statements to convict lawful lawful private members of the public. Are you an idiot? Uh, I want a response to everything contract, jurisdiction, background. Oh God, it keeps going. Background. Brady material for like the third time. Every note on a scrap of paper, audio and video from court surveillance cameras during his forced appearances. Brady info for the, the fifth time. All notes from jury selection on who was chosen or dismissed. Why? I want 911 info. Can't read that. No matter if it's relevant or not. All right, Mr. Robert Mills Jr. This is going to cost you like $1,000. This is so not specific and it's going to have to be redacted and somebody's going to have to spend days finding this i have done exactly one FOIA request and guess who it was on my fucking self it took her 30 seconds she knew exactly who i was didn't have to redact anything and said okay yeah i didn't have to spend any time on this here you go have a good day and then he's going to turn around and bitch because they want to charge him a thousand dollars for this like fucking pull your head out of your ass you sovereign citizen moron I'm just looking around, waiting on somebody downstairs. Yeah. I'm just looking around. Sir. No, I'm good. I'm just looking around. What are you looking around for? To check the building out. Huh? Just to look at it and see, uh, I'm sorry. just to look at it and see what's going on. Sir, you can't take pictures in here. Yeah, I can take pictures in here. It's a public area. I mean, the prosecutor's office should know, <coughs> should know that, right? So because Robert Mills Jr. just wrote something out on that piece of paper and I read it, something clicked. It's 1.12 in the morning and I was a little intrigued. So I messaged Andre Sloan, who got back to me about, uh, he said something about a jury trial, or jury selection rather. And I asked Andre Sloan, hey, do you know what the, what the fuck he's talking about? He's like, no, but all of his stuff is out of this county. So like a good little content creator. I went digging. Um, so we actually found a charge that we didn't know about. And I don't know how well you guys can see the screen because on my screen it's super tiny where I'm looking at it. Oh, you guys should be fine. So this is the one right here that we, we just found. Disorderly conduct as of 7-5-2024. The funny thing is about that, Robert Mills Jr. actually had this transferred from let's see here the judge recused himself due to ju ugh, judicial conduct or conflict and transferred it to Hendricks County Court now if we go back Hendricks County Court filed the same day as the other one we're going to scroll down so disorderly conduct engages in fighting or tumultuous conduct cash bond $300 Probable cause found. Clerk to issue arrest warrant with bond set for the amount of $300. And 
And then we scroll down, warrant as of 7-9. I'm going to assume that he was picked up at some point around here because that's when scheduling things started. Ordered on the initial hearing and bonded out. He has a bench trial in September, which, looking forward to that. We're going to go to, I'm assuming this is his shit that he's been dealing with. I believe I read that, and he wrote all of those numbers wrong, so I'm glad Andre Sloan was awake at 1.14 in the morning. So we're going to look at this one first, because I believe this one had the most shit going on. It happened in February, and we're worried about all of this stuff down here. Pre-trial conference today. He has a pre-trial conference today that I can almost guarantee you he's not going to talk about. But I believe this is the case he's going there and trying to argue about because this was the trespassing. Let me get this right. because I, I, It was worded very specifically. Trespassing, not having contractual interest in property and disorderly conduct, unreasonable noise. Spot on and spot on from Wanda Mize. And again, if you want to run over to Fraud or Troll's page, thank him because I'm now making this video because he said something about Wanda Mize. Sir, this is a privately owned building. No, it's not. Get out of here. It's not a city building. It's owned by I don't a care. The state, the, the, police. the state leases it. So how is it private? The state doesn't lease it. What's it say right here? Please do not allow children to stand on the tables or chairs. It's public. No, it's not. Go on. It's not a public building. Go on. Pull upstairs. It's a Marion County Prosecutor's Office. We rent. It, yes. Yeah. We rent the pu the who pays for it? You? Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah, exactly. Just so call it's, upstairs. It's and not private. Get a grand jury officer down here to escort him out. If they escort me out, it's going to be by a lawsuit because I'll sue you. What's your name? Bob. Bob? Mm -hmm. You ought to do better, Bob. Not too bad. You're I'm a public Bob. servant, Bob. Well, you don't pay my taxes, okay? I, I don't. You don't pay your taxes either. No. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a business card for all the prosecutors in this department? Pardon? A business card for all the prosecutors nope. in this department? Nope. So you're denying me public service? I'm not denying the public service. You said you're not going to get them for me, right? No, I'm not going to walk around and get everyone's business cards. Well, why not? Why should I? She probably has them right there on that list. What have you done for me? Uh, paid for your living, help you raise your kids, pay for your house, your car, your groceries. I, didn't pay for my house. I paid for your whole life, buddy. No, you didn't. I didn't. I'm a taxpayer. Where were you I've been a taxpayer my whole life. Where were you when I was 18 years old? <laughs> I wasn't your daddy yet. So here's the problem with little meth gremlins running their mouth recklessly when people have all their information. Well, this is why I doubt Robert Mills Jr. has ever paid taxes, or I bet he pays, uh, gets paid under the table at this point. So he's been taken to small claims court twice for about $2,500 and $1,100, never paid. Uh, he was found guilty of forgery in 2001. Two years probation, three years prison suspended, restitution of 4200 bucks that he has not paid in 23 years. I doubt you're paying anyone anything. Yeah. It's when you got this job, it's when I became your daddy. Uh -huh. Wow. What is it with you guys doing to stain for the public? I mean, you got a camera right there. It's a public area. I've got every right to video in the public area. Uh, yeah, so which one of you guys come out here and read these little kid books? Robert, Robert, sit down. This one's going to hurt. 
So I'm going to break down his logic now and again doing almost the same thing in a little bit here. So by his logic, if a building has children's books, it is therefore a public building. I raise you doctor's offices, which regularly has children's books and are private businesses. Like at this point, I know sovereign citizens are like mentally handicapped, but like try to do better, Robert. That's all right. If they come down and trespass me out of the building, mm -hmm. I'm going to hold the prosecutor's office liable Whoa. for deprivation of rights. You can't hold them if, they if you guys willfully and knowingly violate the Constitution, then you're absolutely held liable to it. We right? all have laws we have to follow. Yeah. It's a section. It's a 1983 section 241, 242 violation. That's not true. So get your facts straight. Deprivation of rights under the color of law. This is a private building, sir. It can be private all at once. The public pays for it, so it makes it public. What do you not understand about that? With whose money? The budget we get from the city. And where do they get their budget from? Where does the money come from to pay you guys and pay for this building? The people, right? The people, yeah. Public building. It's plain common sense. Do you have any, Bob? No, you don't, Bob. In fact, Bob, you make us look bad. No, you do that on your own. No, you do that on your own. I'm going to make you my thumbnail, Bob. <laughs> hey, Robert, I'm going to make your inbred little meth gremlin ass my fucking thumbnail. And mine's going to be much better than yours. You think it's funny, Bob? But, but when the people hold you accountable, it won't be funny, will it, Bob? When I hold you accountable, it won't be funny, Bob. Yeah, Bob, I've got a bunch of U.S. District Court lawsuits going on. It won't hurt me a bit to add you and her to another. Mm -hmm. Bob. This is where the fun begins. How you doing? All right, how you doing? Good, good. How can we help you? I told them I didn't need any help. I'm just looking around. Okay, what for? To take, a look, take a look at the building. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Do you have an appointment with anybody here? No. Do I need an appointment to be in a public building? Uh, yeah, you do. This one. This is not a public building. This is a privately owned building. Could you give me... Oh, <laughs> right here. Please do not allow children to stand on the tables or chairs. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, maybe you guys ought to quit smoking. Thanks, sir. I saw you come in with that. <laughs> None of your business. Oh, okay. Trespassing on public property and disorderly for what? Defending myself? Did the lieutenant just tell you this is not a public building? Let's break this shit down to its most ridiculous. Robert, if there's a sign on the wall that says, let your kids use coloring books, don't let your kids do this, that does not a public building make. Tons of places say that those exact things uh, doesn't make them public buildings. Then he doesn't understand that. Let's use a strip mall theory. If I own a strip mall, if Kevin owns a strip mall, the strip mall and its entire property is mine. If a random place decides they're going to lease a spot in that strip mall, yeah, it's still my property. Same in this situation. If it's a private building owned by a private third party, it is their property to do with what they will. So, Wanda, Wanda, your name's Robert Mills Jr. You're using your girlfriend's YouTube account because you're a fucking pussy. Grow up, pull your head out of your ass, and leave the building. There's public offices inside a private. Building. Who pays for the building? Okay. Uh, not are you guys going to? Are you guys trespassing me? Let's cut to the chase. Okay. Do you want to trust? Let me get your name and badge number. It's time for you to. Let me get your name and badge, you name and badge number. Leave, Let me get your name and badge number. It's time for you to leave. Sir. Dereliction. It's time for you to leave. Sir. Name and badge number. Are you going to leave or you going to jail? Your choice. Name and badge. You have to leave. You can walk out. No, you're putting your hands on me? Well, you're, you're putting your hands on me? That's assault. I want him arrested for assault. Sure, right. I want him arrested for assault. I want him arrested for assault. Look at this. We're leaving out. Look at this. I'm going to sue every one of you guys. I'm going to sue every one of you. You can't trespass me from a public building. It is a public building. Who pays for it? 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 Well, answer it. Who pays for it? Well, if you'd be quiet for 10 seconds, I'll answer that. Well, if you'd answer it. Okay. You're not going to listen. I'm not going to answer it. Answer it. Who pays for it? I have more discussions with a three-year-old. Who pays for it? Yeah, me too. The building is leased. 
uh, leased. Banks, not just yeah, leased. It doesn't matter. It's leased by the public. Okay. So you mean think you so can you can't trust to have me? Yeah, okay. exactly. When okay. I'm in my bags over here, okay. my bags over here, clown. Oh, my bags over here. Know. You assault her. You assault her. We're bringing. I want him arrested for assault. We're bringing. I'm handling business. No, I got not. business you're with the prosecutor. No I got business with no, the prosecutor. I'm waiting on a supervisor. We asked. I'm waiting on a supervisor. You wasn't. Yeah. Go ask her. Go ask her. Find me. God sucker. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to resist. Go ahead. I'm going to resist. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, I had to turn the hat around backwards, Ash Ketchum style, because that shit got serious. I'm going to try to stay on top of the Robert Mills Jr. situation with this because right there at the end, it almost looks like he kind of got through the door, tried to create space and tried to like swing or hit one of the officers. And because he's a meth gremlin, he's nothing more than a mentally handicapped child. He tried to do something and the officer just lifted him up and he's like, why? Why are you doing this, Robert? Uh, but yeah, I'll try to stay on top of that. Like I said, today he has a pretrial hearing. Ah, yes. Have a good rest of your day. Peace. God, and I keep forgetting to do this. I have two other channels. KFAR Cams is just a body cam channel where we cover dumb people. And Reading the Room, that one's going to be hard to find, but both links are in the description. Also, I have a merch store now, so go check that out.